Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, JD Badwoyer, Cheyenne River Sioux from Eagle View, South Dakota. My wife here is Marlene Badwoyer. We've been married for almost, oh, I'm going to get this wrong, about 16, 19 years, not 16, 19 years. Uh, we're still going strong. We when me and Marlene got married, uh, that's when I met Cheyenne here, and she's been with me, been with us throughout the years. And she's more or less my daughter. Um, growing up, she's my niece, but she's my daughter, and I helped her out. Uh, when she started dancing, at the age of five years old, she started out in a tiny top category, and she's still running around her. Uh, taught her a few things, a few moves, and my own move, but she learned her on her own. She learned from an uh, older woman. She went to go talk to them. Uh, she got a uh, Got some pointers, and she wanted to figure out how to uh, start dancing on her own. She wanted to have this special because she wanted to honor uh, the aspect of uh, encouraging dancers as they leave teenage all the way up into adults. They're always, uh, they may be winning in the, the teenage category, but once they get into the adult category, it's harder for these uh, dancers to uh, compete against these champions who've been uh, dancing for a while. So she wanted to have this special, and she wanted to call the fancy dancers out there. If you can start making your way around the arena, here we're gonna start here in a little bit. But she wanted to have this uh, special. She's been uh, doing a lot of things on her own, and as a family, we encouraged her to uh, choose her own path and uh, find, find what she's wanting to do in her life. So the past year, she's been working up in Alaska. She's been up there for about six, six to seven months. She's been up there and she's been uh, making different items. She's been saving some money. You know, she's been wanting to do this and we encouraged her to be out there on her own. And this is what this uh, special is about. Coming from the family is for the younger, for the younger dancers to be out there. And I know it's, it's, uh, it's difficult to go from teenage category into the adult category. For us as a family, we wanted to encourage her to keep dancing because there was that, that time maybe she thought, you know, she wanted to take a break and she wanted to keep working. So as a family, we wanted to encourage her to come out here and dance. And she wanted to share that with the rest of the dancers. Um, she wanted to ask you to come out here and uh, dance with her. All women fancy dancers will be come start making their way out here. We got with a sharpshooter in Southern Comfort, and I believe we are going to go with eight songs. Or six. Eight songs. So dancers, pay attention. We're going to go eight songs back to back. As we do these eight songs. Keep in mind, dancers, that you are going to be judged on your ability and your style. So this is basically going to be a tap-out style dancing. So it'll be an 18 plus, calling all registered fancy dancers to come out here and uh, showcase your style. Um, and just remember, it's going to be eight songs. We're going to have our judges start making their way around the arena and these judges, uh, Cheyenne had picked these judges, they, they themselves have learned styles, they learned and they watch, and she picked them because she wants them as they're growing up, she danced with them, and she wants to encourage them in a younger way, so it looks like we're gonna call out some dancers out here, here in a little bit, and we're gonna go with Sharpshooter first, I believe, and then go to Southern Comfort, and I believe Cheyenne had gotten with both the singers, and it's uh, singer choice. So dancers, keep that in mind. You'll be tapped out. It's on your ability, not just your how fast you can land. So sharpshooter, whenever you're ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Steve Boring, the Boring Dancers, Southern Comfort, the Goy. That is the Chili Baker, right around.
I was taught in the way of growing up on the Shines River Reservation that when a long time ago when they have giveaways, when they have specials, the family gave what they can, whatever they uh, they had, what they had at that moment. And it's something that stayed with, uh, with Marlene and myself that we, that we uh, show different ways, different styles, but Growing up, my family has shown that we is their first place winner. Take in last is your winner, first place winner. Second place winner is Lara Lasley. These gifts were uh, were made by Cheyenne. A lot of it's uh, were a lot of it's beadwork. A lot of it's handmade. The first place winner is going to get a a jacket, and she's going to get a handmade uh, her choice, her colors, her style, a uh, fancy shawl. But uh, a lot of this gifts that we had, the family wanted to give it to the people, give it to the uh, people who are here coming over here. A lot of this. Uh, stuff that we have they're going to bring some gifts to the uh, drum group but at, right now at this time we're going to call up um, we're going to call up our head staff wow. <laughs> we're going to we're going to call uh, our mc butch felix and uh lawrence baker if your family has a gift I want to thank uh, Butch for allowing us this time, the committee for allowing us time to showcase the style, the dancers, the arena director. Thank you, appreciate it. The family like to call it the arena director, the head judge. We ask uh, the top speed to come on up here. Family's got a gift for you. Tasha Goodwill and uh, Tony Wawiata. Family like to call up a uh, veteran, any veterans. Uh, they they like to have a gift for you. Rick Yazzie has helped uh, Cheyenne out with a lot of uh, things, encouragement, helped her out with the. Uh, If there's any veterans up here in the family would like to uh, uh, come on up here. <laughs> family would like to call a uh, representative from the jump room.
blue one had it. One in the blue. Mm -hmm. She missed that stop where she slowed down. I was like, oh, Sandy's out. How did <laughs> Lucha Diaz. Family like to call up Lucha Diaz. Cassie Piguet. Judges, uh, the women judges first. The family likes to call up the women judges. So we have a, a gift for you, gift bag. Nice the judges. <laughs> I wish I could take a picture of my little And last but not least, we family like to call up Jim Brandigo. I'd asked Jim a while back if I could have this uh, special for my niece, and uh, he, he helped me out, and he, uh, he let me, allowed me to do this, and uh, my family looked up to Jim, he had showed us a lot of, a lot of uh, teachings, he had talked to me a lot about things, and uh, my wife had made this, uh, it's for iPod, uh, whatever kind of phone, iPhone, put it over your neck, and put it in there, I need one of those, because I always use my iPhone. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us time. Thank you to the committee for allowing us time. Appreciate it. Our family wants to thank the committee for allowing us this time. We appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to give it back to the Yeah. Yeah, at least you did it. You did a good job. All right, hey.